Skull Gums. Yeah, you know, the homie Wild Child. We in the back of the back right now. We just cooling on the way to um, um, cut and scratch. You know what I'm we about to go do the radio interview with DJ Carlito, DJ Radimus. You know what I'm saying? Walking through the crowd, I'm in my zone. I see them looking, yeah, they looking. Eyes on me, all eyes on me. I'm a show, yes, I'm a show. Yeah, I'm a show, yes, I'm a show. Yeah, I'm a show, yes, I'm a show. Yeah, I'm a show, yes, I'm a show. I see them hoes looking, I throw a band at him He bring them back once I send the homie Graham at him Rims poking out, look like a bruised lip We party hard and you might see it on the news clip I'm the show, they should pay me for appearances Loud kush, got me feeling like I'm hearing shit Happy birthday, I appreciate it Oh, it's your birthday? Happy birthday, it was Wednesday was my birthday Scorpio's in the building. Oh, he had his listening session on Wednesday. Yeah, tell, I heard it was crazy. Tell us about that. Yeah, it went well. Um, everybody came through. A lot of DJs came through and showed love. Um, I did a lot of drop for a couple DJs. We had food there. Cool. It, was, it was a good time. Let's not talk about the food. I wasn't supposed to eat. <laughs> yeah, we stole. I wasn't supposed to eat none of that stuff. Oh, they brought you something, man. <laughs> now watch, out. where are you originally from? You were from Miami? Yeah, Florida, Miami, Florida, Miami, Florida, Miami, Florida, Miami, Florida, born and raised. Okay, and how'd you get old started on music? Like, what inspired you? How young were you when you started getting into writing music? I was about eight years old, and um, I came from a music, um, a music-oriented background. Well, when I first started, I grew up listening to a lot of Trick Daddy, you know, um, the old T.I. Jeezy, um, definitely Flo, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Flo, people like that, you know? And you was under a label. How did the whole situation with Strongbond come around? Ah, uh, it's a funny story. Um, we like funny stories. Sorry. <laughs> just, I'm, I'm gonna tell you exactly how it happened. Um, my dad works at the airport, and you know, Flo Rider, he's the money machine. He came to the, the, the airport to buy a jet. Oh, it's like that, huh? Man, I think I'm gonna go to the airport and buy a jet right after the show. Flo, call me, y'all. <laughs> oh, Flo, they came up to buy a jet, and my dad called me, told me he seen Flo right out there. I had just finished wrapping up um, a little demo I put together, and my dad had it on. He let Flo, he let um, Flo and a few other members with the entourage hear it, and they exchanged contact info. I met up with them later on at the studio, and it's the ball been rolling ever since. That same day. Is that where you got the inspiration for that song, Take Flight? Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's how it happened. Yeah, right? It's coincidence, right? So, you know, so, so it, was, it was all perfect timing. Perfect timing. So then he gets to buy the jet? Nah, I haven't flew on the jet yet, but I know it's coming. I just keep working, you know. That's what's up, man. They can't keep me out of the studio, so. What producer are you working with right now? Maybe. I'm working with a little bit of everybody. Um, our in-house producer, J-Rock the Monster, um, Breon. Um, I got tracks from from Shife. Uh, man, I got a I got a numerous amount of people I'm working with. I'm trying to work with everybody. I got. I, we're gonna bring. We're gonna have to bring them around. Cool and Jay. Most definitely. Most definitely. You already start doing shows? Oh yeah, I already start touching the stage. I've been performing, you know, since I was younger. Oh. But you know, I've, I've been touching the stage a lot lately, well, that, a lot. That's actually, I, I met him, um, Flo, Flo was like, yo, we're gonna go to a mansion. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna hang out. It was after the Heat game. He had just won, and they're like, yo, we're going to mansion. So, so, and he performed in the mansion? Well, I didn't know he was gonna perform. Right. It was it was Flo just hosting, right? Yeah, we, um, Flo was just hosting, it, and they always throw me on the spot. And I see this, I see this. You always gotta be ready for this. Yeah. Yeah. What's, what's crazy is that I see a young, you know, he's slim, with the oh hoodie God. on, they give him the mic, took the hoodie. Nah, you didn't even take the hoodie off. Nah, I just walked in with the hoodie on. Like, I'm like, who is this kid? And I got it on video on my phone. I still oh, got see? it. Yeah, you can't got it. Hold up, who is this oh, you kid? Gotta, you got to send that to I, me, I man. Got, I got the video. He was just going in, and I'm like... Yo, Flo, who is this kid? Like, I told you. I told you. We just want to get it up. Sign so call living. Yeah. We ain't trying to stack nothing. We just want to spin it. And I'm acting ass. I ain't have it in a minute. I treat them real bad. You can have it when I finish. Sliding in a rental that's in it. Crept in from the back door. And I even let my homeboys in it. Them bad bitches even let my homeboy hit it. If I tell her right now, then she with it. 
they say we get into it. I don't wanna have to shoot it out, but the niggas around me will do it. I keep a big bank on me and I will prove it. Order 10 pounds, high depth, gon' move it. Just sit back, this high